Hey, what's going on there folks? Earthmaster here, jumping in real quick on the live stream. I'm going to do a quick update video, take a look at earthquake activity uh, real quick around the globe, and also talk about a fire tornado, or a tornado that formed from a uh, rather large pyrocumulus cloud here. kind of want to get into that first here in Northern California, pretty spe spectacular sight. Uh, this here image um, off of Twitter and you can see distinctively the uh, funnel tornado here not for sure the exact wind speeds on this thing but this thing formed from a pyrocumulus cloud basically there's a pretty large fire producing up uh, pushing up a lot of heat into the atmosphere uh, which in turn uh, in turn creates a pyrocumulus cloud now if it gets up high enough in the atmosphere uh, you run into some shear and also you got the wind speeds there on the bottom uh, which tend to rotate this pyro uh, cumulus cloud and then you can end up with a tornado uh, which is exactly what happened here in northern california um, like i said it gets its spin from a sh from a condition called shear and it's basically heat pushing up all of this smoke into the atmosphere and uh, it, it grew rather fast there. Pretty crazy uh, uh, condition there. I don't think too many people have seen this. It's, ra <laughs> it's r pretty rare. Uh, the National Weather Service in Reno, Nevada did issue a tornado warning on this incident. This specific incident, which is, like I said, it's not a normal thunderstorm, but a smoke storm, I guess, if you will. The pyrocumulus clouds built up so much uh, and there was a lot of spin rotation on radar to where the weather service did issue a tornado warning and uh, it's pretty crazy I just I, I still can't believe this this picture that's out there um, from what I hear it's a first of his uh, first knowledge first knowledge of a tornado warning of this nature basically outside of a thunderstorm right M most tornado warnings are going to be issued uh, because of a weather related event such as a thunderstorm um, you know but this here is kind of a different definitely different uh, when it comes to uh, issuing a tornado warning but pretty cool definitely see the uh, the smoke obviously and then the well-defined funnel and the uh, the winds kicking up here as it touched down so pretty crazy event out there there's lots of uh, there's some more video of it you want to check it out floating around out there on uh, Twitter and whatnot but uh, and there's also some pretty interesting articles when it comes to how pyrocumulus clouds form and whatnot uh, a couple years ago up in Redding California uh, during the car I believe it's a car fire up there uh, we had a pretty extensive swirl fire world if you will equivalent to uh, EF3 tornado uh, it took down some high tension power lines and basically pulled trees straight up out of the ground. Uh, it was pretty uh, pretty extensive here. It doesn't look like uh, Wikipedia mentions that, but uh, it definitely happened there up in Redding uh, or just outside of Redding there during the uh, car fire. Pretty crazy. Taking a look at earthquake activity, folks. Rather uh, quiet tonight. There is a lot of microquakes out here. I mean, it looks like California is just going crazy uh, with earthquake activity tonight. But that's you know pretty much microquakes. If I were to take uh, this and bring it to a 2.5 magnitude threshold, pretty much everything on this map disappears. So not a whole lot of major movement out there. No new swarms swarms going on. Uh, still seen some earthquake activity, aftershock activity in the Ridgecrest region, also Nevada, and also up here uh, west of Mammoth Lakes region, Long Valley Super Volcano. Uh, but other than that, not a whole lot of swarming going on. Some activity up there in Idaho as well. A little bit larger than the activity in California. Some lower twos, upper twos as well. Uh, and of course, all this aftershock activity as well, following their large quake um, a couple months back now, or maybe even a few months back. This time's going by pretty quickly. Oklahoma, uh, some microquakes out there as well. Kind of a cluster of them. Uh, no stranger to quakes out there, that's for sure. But uh, nothing major to report out here, folks. I mean, we're uh, basically on a quiet spell, if you will. It's kind of seen some average earthquake activity over here towards the southwestern 
part of the Pacific Ring of Fire, but uh, other than that, I, activity has definitely uh, calmed down, you know, according to, uh, you know, from, from previous days here. Just not a whole lot to talk about, so um, some activity out here towards the other part of the world, but like I say, just pretty mellow, folks. Not a whole lot going on. Uh, we can check the Yellowstone maps here real quick see what's going on there most of this activity uh, that you see here is um, the Idaho quakes kind of showing up there any specific quakes maybe it looks like right around Mary Lake here we're seeing a little bit of a of a localized earthquakes there just small micro quakes no sign of a swarm uh, which is good no earthquake swarm there in uh, Yellowstone National Park so trimmer map along the Pacific Northwest today uh, a little bit more active compared to the past couple days here. We did see a pretty good quiet spell over the last, I would say, three days or so. Uh, up until today, we're seeing a kind of uh, increase and in influx of trimmer all the way down here to Northern Cal. Pretty much right smack dab there where the Cascadia subduction zone begins um, inland all the way up to uh, Vancouver Island here just south of there. So it looks as though they're could be an increase in that trimmer uh, movement along the Cascadia subduction zone. All right, folks, um, have a good night. I'm just going to cut it short tonight and uh, hope everyone stays safe out there on this Saturday night. It's kind of crazy. Even in a little town where I live, it seems like everyone's just going crazy. But uh, stay safe. And uh, we'll chat you guys another time. Peace out.